but uh, at the moment I'm doing exceptionally well. I'm no longer on treatment <laughs> because um, I've had a scan in February that showed that metastases have all gone wow, at the moment. So that's the use, they don't use the word cure, do they? They use the word remission. So I'm now just on follow-ups, which is, is very, very good. As he said, we've never seen this before. They, but there again, as I am I'm an old boot, as um, I had a little glitch in January where I had a little heart problem. Mm. And they found out that uh, my left ventricle down the bottom isn't is the boot shaped. So my husband now says, I can officially call you an old boot now. Can't <laughs> I? Okay. So I'm different in all ways. I'm unique in all ways. You've got that new issue to contend with. I have, yes. Is it causing you any symptoms, that heart no, problem? No, I had this one episode and I had a stay in the Glenfield Hospital where everybody was absolutely wonderful in mm. there. It was really... That was a really different experience, that was. And I've had no problems ever since. That's good. So. Back to this um, really good news yeah. then about your um, metastases clearing. Yeah. I mean, that's very, very unusual for that yeah. to happen. But it's excellent that it has. Do they attribute that to the drug you on, the mitotain, I think you mentioned? They earlier? did. I did stop that at the end of November because they did find that the blood levels were exceptionally high in my blood. After mm. all the time I couldn't get them to go up, they went too high and we stopped it for the time being and before I went back on it I'd had the scan to say that uh, they'd all gone. How did you feel about um, all that information? I mean there's obviously that good news yeah. but then you you could have an uncertainty about stopping the medication that could have had a therapeutic effect. I don't know what, well, yeah, what did it was, you think? It was like, um, I feel like losing a life in a line in a way. These these drugs were like I think oh, they were helping me, they were helping me you know but as they seem to have done at the moment, done the trick, I do know that if any person was to come again, I could go back on them. But the, the downside to it is it makes you feel so really unwell. And of course, I, when I got the, the news to stop them, it was lovely, but it still didn't make me feel any better. I was about to ask you that because I'd be very interested, given these side effects, yeah. what was the effect physically on with stopping the drug did some of those effects disappear and then you said you really knew they were related to the drug uh they've taken a while to disappear and yes they, they were definitely related to the drug the, the extreme tiredness and the sickness and that has all gone away and what have you and if you speak to anybody in my family or that they'll say you're like your old self again you've got mum back mm. you know and what have you so in a way, there's two bits of good news. One, the cancer being in remission, yeah. and two, the drug not yeah. being needed right now. This is it. And that, that's, that to me is, is, is really good, that that doesn't, isn't needed at the moment and what have you. Mm. And, but, I haven't, but they do say it takes a good four months for it to get out of your system. So I'm just coming up to that, that sort of period now, you know, just over that now, just stopping... It's all gone. So you, in a way, you could be considered to be in a kind of recovery phase, the end yeah. of the recovery phase right now. Yeah. As I must say, when uh, we did get the news that metastases had gone, I think it took us about three days to even understand that and the implications of what that really meant. I think we went home, the two of us, and we sat and we, we just looked at one another and didn't do anything. And then I cried a lot and we sort of... Uh, in hysteria, I feel like we didn't sleep, we couldn't do, you know, it was a really up and down phase, you know. I think relief, I, it's not even relief to begin with, it's just like, we, you don't, it's like the, when they tell you you've got the cancer and then they tell you, well actually your cancer's not really there so much anymore, it's like in, really in the background, it's, oh, you can't understand that either. Have you been able to really take that on board and uh, absorb that information. I think so now. It's just taken me a long time, but mm. I, I, it really has. Um, I still have to go for scans, and whenever I have to go for a scan, I always do get a little twitchy beforehand mm. because you, you never know what it's going to show. Yep. You know, you go and get the results, and you can actually say again, you know, this is, you're still in remission, you know. I have had people say to me that they are nervous about taking good news on board because they've lived so long with uncertainty that they don't want to give themselves news which is um, incorrect or too positive. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Oh, oh yes, yeah, you're always waiting for, for something. Yes, that is that, but, mm. you know, and maybe 
we should never, I don't know, down cry ourselves too much, we should really take it on board. But I think it's a lot to take in after you've had such a, an intense period of everything's been the doom and the gloom. Yeah. And, you know, and then getting this, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful news, you know. And in, in a way, uh, you don't miss going to see your consultants, but it just doesn't seem, it seems a bit weird not going as often as you did to begin with. Indeed, and that can create a little bit of anxiety about yeah. not being monitored as frequently. It, it, it does in a way, but it's that devil's advocate. You do want to be monitored and you don't. If you don't know, then we carry on fine. Yes. If you do know, then there's the consequences, you know. So it's a bit like the ostrich, put your head in the sand for a bit and carry on and, and let's play the normal game, you know. And the ideal is not a feeling you have to worry about there being a little bit of less medical scrutiny. No. But the positive is getting on with, being able to get on with your life more, oh, do normal yeah. things and yeah. feel you're getting your life back on track.